and then we're going to recap on what were the results of the exercise we had last time because everyone who was here was involved with an exercise in which they saw these images and they placed little stickies on them and prioritized images and, and it's important that you understand what were the results of that. But at this point, we, are, we were here to engage in, in uh, discussions for the public for input into the design process. That's the stage where we're at, where we want your feedback, we're looking for your feedback to us. Um, we're going to summarize and define a program from our discussions. We've done that from the discussions we've previously had. And we're going to develop two conceptual designs for the site. We are presenting those two conceptual designs this evening. Um, and then receive feedback from the public and determine the preferred concept. That's what we're hoping to receive from you tonight this evening, is your direction to us with respect to those two designs we're going to show you this evening. Um, as Natani pointed out earlier, just for those who may be still wondering, the site that we're looking at is the little yellow box on the site. So it's bounded, you know, it's right over there. It's bounded by um, Gerard and College and Young and Bay. And it's between those all those little buildings and maybe not so little, Aura um, is the next last building um, that's being uh, constructed that, that is actually precipitating this exercise. Now, as I mentioned, I don't want to spend too much time on this because I do want you to have time to see the design that Pat's going to be presenting and we do want your feedback, but just as an aspect with respect to how we actually came up with the program, we came up with the program by going through that, that exercise we had last time where we had some images and ideas and asked for your feedback. The very first one was water feature design element. And we had asked for people's feedback on what they thought and did they think it was important. And I'm not going to go and read all the feedback on there, but ultimately what you can see back from the number of responses back we had on water feature design element, it was deemed as being excuse me, very important and something that should be incorporated. And you're going to notice on the bottom of this particular uh, slide, you'll see some people who said, don't like jets, to the, and some people said, love them. This is not, this is typical, and it's something throughout the entire process we found. For every time there's a decision, we have an equal amount of people who have opposite viewpoints. And it's our job to kind of sift through all of that and, and present a design that, that best suits the, the constraints that we have within the site. So, water is designed a feature. Yes, that, was, that came back as being something that was important to be incorporated into the design. So there's more comments with respect to water. Skating a design element. Again, we received numerous comments back to us that skating was important and should be integrated. The form of the skating, again, there was some discussion of what it should look like. Um, and surprisingly, we did have some people who did say they would like, thought hockey was great um, and thought hockey was, was wonderful to look at in the evening and in love in the space. But, it's, but moreover, most people did come back with what they were looking was something like that, that first image on the top, which was more trail-like and, and something that it was all ages. Um, a flexible gathering space or a main events plaza. You guys came up 50-50 on this. Half of you said it was really important. Other half of you said, nope, don't want it, don't, don't, don't like it, don't want to include it. You were concerned about the noise and, and various other aspects that, that, that this space would generate. Um, so it, it was, it's something that we had to consider, but it was a 50, almost perfectly split 50-50. Equally 50-50 was the community, community plaza. In the community plaza exercise that was through PPS, they identified community plaza as a children's space, possibly. We brought that forward to the group. 50% of you said, and exactly 50% of you said, yes, children's play area, very important, absolutely a must. 50% of you came back and said, no way, no how, uh-uh. Do not do it. So again, it's something that we're going to need to discuss, and it's, 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 it's incorporated in many of our designs. But it is, a, it is a discussion point that we need to come back to you people with. Promenade and gardens. <clears throat> Generally, there was, there was feedback with that, and, and there was smaller amounts of feedback with that, but all of the feedback that we did receive did say that they thought gardens were important. We did have a mixture about what type of garden should be, what a garden should be, but there was some, some positive feedback that those elements and a garden element should be included within the design. Oh, do we have more people? If you want to come on in, just come on into the room. Okay? We can also bring your chairs in. If we have to, we can get more chairs in. Pavilion. We talked about the pavilion, and a number of responses came back that 
they didn't think a pavilion, per se, with washrooms was important. Um, but many people did feel that a pavilion of some sort, um, whether or not it was some place to store your things or to put on your skates, and it didn't necessarily have to be enclosed. That did come back from, from the feedback we got from the group. Constructed elements. Um, from the constructed elements discussion, what did come back to us as feedback from you was that many of you felt that gateway features was a very important element that should be considered. And a gateway feature is a unifying element or, a, or entry point into the various components of the park. Um, and then again, landscape character. Um, less comments on the landscape character, and that's actually the number of comments you see on the screen are exactly the amount of comments that we received back. So less than there were with respect to other <coughs> elements. So it was perceived as not being as important to you as a group, but still the comments that we, we did receive were very important to us, that they did, they did direct us on what you were actually looking for. Um, pedestrian circulation, minor comments that were, that were generated, um, but did mention things such as no grass, um, flowers, and the concern with respect to maintenance, and, and the desire for long, winding walks. And that came up more than one occurrence when we actually read some of the feedback sheets as well that came back from you. Site furnishings and, and seating opportunities. Um, we did receive quite a bit of feedback, and, and many of it, the, much, very much of the feedback was very much directed to the same kind of thought. Variety of seatings. You were looking for a variety of opportunities, but there was a general concern with respect to flexible seatings and them being stolen. And that did come back from a number a feedback, a number of uh, feedback sheets. But the desire to have good quality seating, and the desire to have actually shaded seating, was something that did come back to us on, on several points. Um, public art. We asked you in a very general sense, what do you think about public art? And should we actually be looking at it? And the answer was no. You guys didn't want any public art, and didn't really think it was that important. So that's kind of, kind of interesting. So um, that directs us as well on how we actually move forward. So through all of this exercise, by going through these, we actually came up with a program. And, and very simply, it was 14 points that came about out of this as the program summary. And the program summary basically says things like water in some form is to be included. Skating in some form is to be included. There's a 50-50 split on the inclusion of a movie screen, because that was something that we had shown. And people had some very positive and some very negative comments with respect to that possibility. But there was a 50-50 split on the desire for a flexible gathering space. And there was a, a lot of concern regarding noise, and there was a repeated concern regarding dogs. Um, in, in very many instances, on the responses back on the children's play area, there were people that said, we need a place for dogs, we don't need a place for kids. As bluntly as that. Um, and so um, there was a 50 fit split on the possible inclusion of a play area. There was a desire, an expressed desire for trees and gardens that are low maintenance. Um, there was a desire for an oasis. There were more than one of the feedback sheets we got back that repeatedly used that word, that they were looking for an oasis. Um, majority of responses pertaining to washrooms did not seem to uh, see those as important. So the majority of the feedback was that they weren't important. There were some feedback, though, that did say that they should be included within the design. Um, many felt that the idea of gateways was as important. Desire for walkways that were curving and addressed desire lines was deemed as being important. Shaded seating and a variety of seating that was seen as being that was seen as being important. And then the last was no public art. So taking this consolidated form of the program summary, that then did inform how we actually developed the designs. And we actually pr proposed two designs. And, we're at, and I'm speeding through this because I do want to get to the to the concept designs and I'm conscious of the fact we started late. Um, but you know, if, if people have particular questions, you can question me after this, but we're gonna try to keep you back on, get back on track. And we're gonna show you the two concepts and designs, and then we're gonna actually ask you for feedback, and there will be an open session, an open forum, for you to feedback at the end of the two presentations. We're gonna ask you to, that Pat, Pat will be doing the presentations of the two designs, let him get through the two presentations, and then we'll do a general feedback from that. And then again, there'll be opportunity for everyone else to comment on the little green sheets. Okay, so Pat.